Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks, and we're in West LA at the Hip Cooks Cooking School. And today I'm going to show you how to saute mushrooms. So I've got my pan heating up over here, three tablespoons of butter on hand, and I have sliced my mushrooms nice and thin, and they're ready to get into the pan. I'm gonna start with my butter. I think I'll probably just go for two tablespoons. That's something that you can adjust to however much you want. Get our butter melted. This is a pound of mushrooms, and I've just chosen the good old white mushroom if you wanna use cremini or shiitake or portobello, any type of mushroom, it's going to be the same process. Start with butter. Butter and mushrooms go together nicely. And toss your mushrooms in. Okay, mushrooms take a while to cook. Just Set them in there, give them a stir every once in a while. You'll notice that water will seep out of the mushroom and it'll eventually they'll be reabsorbed or the water will evaporate and that's the point where we wanna get. So that could take a little while. Um, a quick thing on washing mushrooms, uh, you can do it in a couple ways. If you wanna take the time to wipe it down with a paper towel, that's fine. I actually wash my mushrooms in water, just give them a quick rinse and the idea of absorbing the water, that's not going to be a problem. If you keep mushrooms in water, then that's what they'll start to absorb, but a quick rinse, quick scrub, that's okay. So you do wanna wash them though, because they tend to have dirt on them. Okay, so I'll just let those sit there for a bit. Give them a little stir. And while we do that, we'll prep the garlic and the parsley. So I have four cloves of garlic here, which will go in towards the end. If you don't like garlicky mushrooms, then don't put garlic in with your mushrooms. If you want them super garlicky, add even more. This is really a to taste portion. So little slices, and then I'll give it a chop. Some people like to use the jarred garlic that's already all chopped up in a jar. That does make for easy cooking, but um, sometimes there are additives in the jar, preservatives to, to preserve the garlic and it's not as flavorful. So I tend to like the fresh garlic, which is always easy to find at the grocery store. Alrighty, that's nice and chopped up. There are two different types of parsley. One, there's the curly, and then there's the Italian. Today we have the curly parsley with us, which is good. I wanna um, pull off the tops from the stem. And if you have the flat leaf or Italian parsley at home, that's fine. We can really use either one. This will just add some nice color to the mushrooms in the end and a bit of freshness. Just looking for about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. We're really just wanting to garnish and add a little bit of greenness to the brown mushrooms. Okay, so we're prepped with our final garnish. We just wanna give these mushrooms about five more minutes. Just give them an occasional stir and we will look for them to be nice and cooked down and a little golden. Okay, our mushrooms have been sauteing for about three minutes. They're looking nice and brown, so I'm gonna throw in the garlic, give it a quick saute. These are going to be garlicky. Four cloves. Okay, the heat's on medium now. I wanna give that garlic a little bit of time to soften up and lose some of its tangy flavor, so we want it to um, saute for a couple minutes. Okay, the garlic has sauteed for about a minute. I've turned off the heat, and I'll add the parsley, and some salt, and a little bit of pepper. Okay, you can see I didn't use all the parsley. That's not going to make or break the dish. I just was kind of guesstimating for color. And that is how to saute mushrooms. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.